Microsoft adds ads. Yep, adds you, ads. Adds ads. Adds ads. <laughs> adds <laughs> ads. <laughs> adds ads to what? I wrote it like that on purpose, but yes. They add advertisement to their free-to-play games. Oh, no. And I got more on that. So Microsoft is reportedly looking into letting advertisers insert ads into free-to-play Xbox games, which would include Xbox Pass, Game Pass, the one where they play the games for free for the subscription. The program is reportedly going to launch by the third quarter of this year. According to Business Insider, these ads could show up as rendered billboards in a racing game. However, it wasn't able to be confirmed whether these advertisements would extend to avatar skins or video ads interrupting the game. Interestingly, Microsoft reported the doesn't intend to make a cut of the advertising revenue. So they're not going to take any money from it, at least at first. They're more interested in building out Xbox's advertising network. As it is said... At, oh, wait, hold on. As it is said to be trying to identify which companies and ad agencies to work with. Instead, the revenue from the ads will identify which companies and ad agencies to work with. Instead, the revenue from the ads will be shared between the game developer and the respective ad company. Microsoft reportedly wants to provide game developers the opportunity to make more money from their free-to-play games. It has been trying to build out Xbox in-game ad network since between 2018 and 2019 but plans accelerated in 2020 due to the release of the xbox series s and x microsoft reportedly also has some concerns about the potential backlash backlash this initiative from consumers could look like as console players aren't accustomed to seeing in-game ads unlike mobile players which i think Obviously, there will be backlash because, I mean, if I'm playing a game, I would be pretty pissed if I had to all of a sudden watch a 30-second commercial in the middle of it. Dude, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> just, like, just out playing a racing game, and then suddenly, hey, have you ever heard of, have you ever heard of Harry's Shave Club? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was in the middle of a race. I was going to win. <laughs> that's crazy, though. I mean... It's kind of, I guess, a little cool to see, like, I guess, the advertisements on billboards and stuff in a game, because it makes it look a little bit more realistic. Yeah. I mean, unless if you're getting an uh, ad from now in a futuristic game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a 2022 Corolla car and a game that takes place in Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see Dom from Fast and Furious come up Dom what are you doing here There ain't you ain't got nothing but family <laughs> but yeah we talked about the Xbox Game Pass before we have and uh, a big concern is like if they're letting everybody play these games for free and they keep on adding it in how are the games making money and uh, apparently I, I don't know if Xbox is giving them a cut of the money that they make each month or something but uh I yeah, guess. You don't pay a monthly fee for this, do you? Yeah, for their Game Pass. You do? Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, the way I see it, it's probably the same as a streaming service then. Because for a streaming service, you're paying a monthly fee for the streaming service. But you're basically, you're watching all this content that's basically almost free. Yeah. So the way I see it, it's kind of like the same thing. Like you're paying money so much a month to have like all of these games, basically. It's just... Uh crazy to think about because if you have a game that comes out that usually sells at a $60 sell point and you sell it to a million people like usually the game developers yeah, like, you pay made, their you made their 60 million and then made their money yeah but if you're putting it for free on Xbox game service and it's only $10 a month but yet still a million dollars play it, or a million people play it so in that are month, they are they paying are they putting new games on the pass? Oh, yeah, they put some new games, yeah. Oh, really? Not all new games, but... Wow. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. So I think this whole ad Although, thing is their way of recuperating To be some fair, of the like, streaming servers have been doing the same thing for movies, too. So they're probably thinking, oh, if they do this for... If movies can do this for a streaming service, why can't we do this for an Xbox Pass? True. So I wonder if now they're going to make an Xbox like uh, Game Pass that's more expensive without ads. Because <laughs> I don't know if you notice some streaming services, 
have like five dollars a month, but you have ads, or it's free with ads. Yes, that's basically how Hulu works. Yeah, which I I freaking hate. <laughs> It's, just, it's like, hey, you want the Xbox bundle now with ESPN? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Microsoft adds ads. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Marquando here. On behalf of me and Mike Sensei, just want to say thanks for watching. We appreciate it. If you want to catch early news and early war sessions, be sure to check us out on Twitch every Friday night between 5 and 7. And remember, stay otaku.